Welcome back to the channel. My name is CJM and today we're going to be talking about font ligatures and the styles. Now, a ligature is just a character or a glyph, a symbol, right? That compromises, no, that comprises of two or more letters, right? A very popular one is the combination of an A and an E, especially in some languages or in the name of certain places. No, when you're using fonts here in Photoshop or in whatever application, you can activate ligatures underneath your font styles. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So let's hop on over into Photoshop. So here we are, blank canvas. Let me hit T for my type tool. Let me type something like um, fancy, right? And then let me change this font. Um, let's use Cinema Sunday. Cinema Sunday is from one of my recent tutorials. And if you haven't seen that, I was talking about the 10 fonts that you should be using as a graphic designer from Envato. No, Envato is the sponsor of this video because I got this font from Envato. Shout out to Envato for supporting creators like us. So let me go ahead and turn off this all caps. And you can see this is what Cinema Sunday looks like, right? Let me bring it over into the middle. This is what it looks like. So I just typed the word fancy. Let me just make it lower caps. Yeah, lower caps. Let me make it bigger for you guys so you can see it. Now, if you want to create a ligature, right? Remember, two or more characters. If we want to create a ligature of, let's say, the A and the N here, remember, all we have to do is come over here in my properties tab. And if you don't have access to your properties tab, all you have to do is go to window and then properties or you can use your character tab here. If you're not seeing your character tab, all you have to do is go to window and then character, right? And you just take it from there. Now, this little button over here that says ST, it will allow me to activate my ligatures and my styles, right? So if I were to go ahead and click that, you'll see we went from what it was before to the next one, right? Like how cool is this? And it just improves the overall look. And in some cases, the legibility of your words or fonts, right? If you were to go ahead and see an alternate style, like you can see that are, this is an alternate style that you have, right? So this is our third style, second style, and this is where we started, right? How cool is that? This all boils down to the type of font that you're using and the various styles or variation within that font. No, the name of this font that I'm using is Cinema Sunday and I got it from Envato. I'll put the link directly to this font in this video's description so you guys can download it and practice along with me. And the cool thing about Envato is you don't just get to download this one font here. You get to download unlimited fonts for an unlimited amount of projects. And that's why I love Envato. So that's how you utilize font styles and ligatures like how cool is this? Like cursive writing is cool, but this, these ligatures is taking your fun game to a whole new level. If you like what you saw here and all that we did today with this quick tutorial, leave a comment down below and let me know. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, my name is CJAM and I'll catch you guys in the next one.